Hey everyone and welcome back to another video and this story is coming out of Houston, Texas. Before we get started, if you like the videos and enjoy the commentary on this channel, please like, share, and subscribe so that we can grow the channel. Alright, let's get into this article. Pot smoking tipster finds tiger in abandoned house, police say. Okay, so some, I don't know if marijuana is legal in Texas or not. I mean, the legalization of marijuana is sweeping the nation so hopefully it is legal and he wasn't illegally smoking pot okay a tiger was found monday at an abandoned southeast houston home according to police how did a tiger get into an abandoned home somebody must have placed that uh, tiger in that home Police said the caged female tiger was found at a home in the 9400 block of East Avenue J. Okay, so if it was in the cage, somebody was taking care of that animal. They knew that home was vacant, and they probably figured, you know, it would be safe to put a wild, dangerous animal in a cage in an abandoned house. Wow. So I wonder how the pot smoker got into the house. Okay, let's go. An anonymous tipster reported seeing the animal about a week ago. The tipster said they were at the house to smoke marijuana and thought they were hallucinating when they first saw the tiger, according to police. Okay, so apparently that must be like a drug house or something or a place where people go hang out because it's abandoned. But I can only imagine you're sitting around, you're smoking pot or doing whatever your drug of choice is, and you see what you think is a tiger. You know, who would think that you would see a live tiger just running around like normal in the house? So I can understand why he thought that he may have been hallucinating. I may have thought that I may have been hallucinating too. Because I would never expect to be in a house and just see a, a, a tiger. You know, I, I, that would make me think, is this is this real or is, am I in la-la land? <laughs> the tiger was found in a rinky-dink cage in the garage, which was not locked. Okay, so first of all, it's bad enough that you have a full-grown tiger in a house. Well, I guess in the garage. You don't even have the garage door locked. Suppose that tiger would have escaped somehow. Man, he would have been eating up the neighborhood. The garage was secured with a screwdriver and a nylon strap, according to police. Like, that's really going to do something against a, a, a tiger. Okay. A pretty small cage inside, basically a garage and a house that didn't look like it was in the best shape. So it was important that we get it out of that situation. Laura, Cott Laura Cottingham with the city of Houston said, yeah, you don't want to keep animals caged up in small confined spaces. Um, animals in captivity are, you know, they, they are, I think they, they are depressed. I believe animals can be depressed. And I think if they can be agitated and very dangerous. I think there's even a famous case of an elephant from a circus that broke rank and he, you know how they um, walk behind each other with their trunks holding the elephants in front of them tails. He broke rank and he just went crazy. And I think a few people died because um, he just he just went crazy and started trampling people. So I have to look that up. But I believe that that did happen. Um, Bark officials found the tiger on Monday. They called Houston police who were able to secure a warrant and remove the tiger. The tiger was tranquilized in order to move it out of the house, officials said. I bet <laughs> you can pay me a million dollars to go in some place and move a tiger, a full-grown tiger, out of a house. Now, if it was a baby tiger and the teeth hadn't really grown in yet, maybe. But not a full-grown tiger, no. Okay, so this must be the abandoned house. I wonder if, they, if they're going to try to even figure out who placed that tiger there. How did that tiger even get to that house did the person have the tiger since it was a baby you know it's interesting um how a tiger ended up in a residential neighborhood it looks like officials said the tiger will be taken to bark animal shelter at 3300 car street bark will be the tiger's temporary home officials said the tiger will be taken to another facility where it will stay permanently 
Tuesday. I'm so glad that the pot smoker, I guess, you know, after his high went down and he realized this was not, this was a real tiger that he called the police. There, there's an incredible network all across the United States and here in Houston and here in Texas. It's just finding the right combination, then transporting, Cottingham said. So um, I guess the tiger is not going to the zoo. The Houston Zoo said it will not be, ta will not be able to take the tiger. All right. And here's the statement from the zoo. I guess they're going to explain why they can't take the tiger. The Houston Zoo is aware of the tiger found in southeast Houston today, February 11th. However, the Houston Zoo is not involved in this case and is not receiving the tiger as incorrectly reported. Okay, so previous reports, you know, sometimes the news gets it wrong um, or people start rumors that the tiger was going to be moved to um, the zoo, but apparently it's not going to the zoo. The Houston Zoo is home to two to two Malayan tigers, Barani and Satu, and does not have the capacity to receive additional tigers. Okay, so the zoo can't take the tigers because they probably don't have a separate section for that tiger to be in, and they probably can't mix that tiger with the other two they already have. Fewer than 3,500 tigers of all tiger species remain in the uh, wild today, according to the Tiger Conserva Conservation Campaign. Malayan tigers surviving on the Malay Peninsula are critically endangered, with an estimated population of 300 remaining in the wild. It is so, you know, it amazes me how we have so many extinct um, animals and other species you know, first you have a whole bunch of them running around in the decline, running around in the population and on the earth. And then, you know, they just go away through a lot of what I think is man-made destruction. Okay, this must be a picture of the tiger. Wow, look at it. Okay, so I think this is the end of the article. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play the news clip at the beginning of the article. And then I'll come back with a brief statement. In our 5 o'clock newscast, a tiger found alive inside a vacant southeast Houston home. New at 10 o'clock, we have learned where that 700-pound animal is going to be moved tomorrow. Right now, the tiger is currently being cared for at the Bark Shelter, which is where we find our Keith Garvin tonight, live with the newest information. Keith? Hey there, Dominique. You know, it may be hard to believe, but behind me in, the, in this facility, a big, huge tiger is probably waking up right now, shaking off the effects of a tranquilizer. She will be moving to that new home tomorrow, but tonight there are lots of questions surrounding the place she used to call home. It's a very large tiger. Inside this horse trailer near downtown Houston, inside city limits, is not a horse, but yes, a tiger. The big, beautiful beast was found inside what police are describing as a rinky-dink cage at this home in southeast Houston on the 9400 block of Avenue J near 610 in Manchester. Neighbors say they had no idea. It's kind of scary because when there's a tiger not here in Houston, it's not normal. Officers with the city of Houston's Bark Animal Shelter say they received an anonymous tip through 311 last week from a concerned citizen who had been inside the home. HPD was called and the citizen revealed they saw the female tiger after being invited inside by the owner to smoke marijuana. They assured us that it wasn't the effects of the drugs that made them believe that they were seeing a tiger. So first we thought it might have been a prank or they were high. Officers from both agencies moved on the house Monday, then secured and transported the nearly 1,000 pound exotic feline. She's pretty large, so she doesn't look underfed. She was thirsty um, and wasn't especially threatening. They did tranquilize her right before they transfer, transported her. They brought the animal to Bark headquarters where she will sleep off the tranquilizer and Tuesday morning be moved to a licensed facility that knows how to care for her properly. It's a beautiful, beautiful animal and we want it to live a happy, healthy life. And living in a cage is not optimal circumstances for anyone involved. So again, moving time for the big cat is tomorrow. They have not disclosed the name of that new facility for safety reasons, but they say it is a licensed facility that can take care of exotic animals. Reporting live from near downtown, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News. 
Okay, so that was the news story. And as they said in the story, that um, tiger was 700 pounds and looked healthy. So that means that someone was feeding it um, very well. I mean, that means they had to be bringing in pounds and pounds and pounds of meat um, to feed a, a, a 700 pound tiger. I'm just surprised that the neighbors didn't think something was going on at that house. I mean, I know lions roar, but what kind of sounds do, do, do tigers roar? Do they make noises? I mean, it had to be maybe a few times they heard some type of noise or animal noise that just didn't sound like a regular dog <laughs> or a cat, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't get it. But, um, I'm so glad that uh, they were able to rescue that tiger because my fear is if that tiger would have gotten out, you know, that would have been a nightmare because uh, because that the tiger could have really hurt quite a few people. So anyway, that was out of Houston. Kids, please stay away from the drugs. Don't get high. Good thing that this person that was smoking the pot did call the police, but you could you heard in the news story that they almost didn't take this person seriously. So, you know, drugs is a big no-no. I'm glad that they did look into it and the animal safe. So I will see you in the next video. Again, if you enjoy the videos and the commentary, like, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.